Welcome to the latest Shopware release news. In this release, we would like to introduce you to the exciting features and improvements of the brand new Shopware version 651. Namely, change the order of the images using drag and drop. This improvement won many votes in the community voting and has now been implemented. So what's it all about? In the shopping experiences, you can create shop pages and integrate image sliders to attract the attention of your customers with changing images. In line with this release, we have redesigned the slider function so that you can now change the sequence of images with little effort. Simply click on the settings button up here and then change the yeah desired position of the images simply using drag and drop. The second improvement can be found in the rule builder settings. With the rule builder, you can automate your e-commerce process, create rules that are precisely tailored to your business and your areas of application, whether for content management, marketing, or shipping and payment. In the rule builder settings, you will find over 50 conditions with which you can define individual rules. And with this release, a few more have been added. Number one, with the new conditions, you can check if an order has a tracking code, was created manually, has a certain status, for example, payment or shipping status, or has a value for an additional field, so a custom field. Second, you can check with a new condition on request whether a shopping cart has reached a certain level of uh, shipping costs. And third, you can check with the new conditions whether a customer has a certain standard payment method or has given a certain number of ratings. It's also now possible to select units of me measurements um, when you create rules. For example, you want to check whether a product in the shopping cart exceeds a certain length for shipping. You can specify various units of measurements, whether meters, millimeters, miles, or inches. Here's the next improvement. Do you or your employees mainly speak American English? Then you might be pleased to hear that you can now also use shopware with the language output US English. So select US English as the default language during installation or adjust the language later in the administration under settings shop. Also, again, in this release, we have improved the performance in several places, for example, on the shopping cart page um, and in the administration. As a result, you can look forward to shorter loading times and smoother use. In detail, this means the following. If the shopping cart contains numerous products to all of which a discount is applied, this has previously led to slowdowns. Many community members have voted to address this problem. Therefore, we have optimized the calculation to use less server resources. In addition, we already implemented lazy loading in the last release, whereby content such as images and videos are only loaded when they are actually needed. From now on, lazy loading will also be applied by default in the storefront and in the administration when orders are processed. There are also some improvements for the administration. To make your daily work in the shopware administration easier, we have implemented a few usability improvements. In the product listing, you can now filter by the number of sales and the current sales figures, and thus view your best selling products in a flash. We would like to thank Melvin Achterhus from the community who made this function possible with his GitHub contribution. You can also now find promotions faster, just enter the promotion code in the search box and in the order overview a new note now tells you if a comment has been entered for an order. Furthermore, there are a few deaf news which you can read in detail in the release news. 
which is why we go straight to the commercial features and service news. So the first feature is not really a new feature, but the old flow builder differentiation features are now also available using the commercial plugin before it was a separate plugin. So we are trying to move all old differentiation functions into the commercial plugin over time. Let's come to the exciting and last feature of this release. For all commercial plans, so Shopware Rise and Higher, we have released the Shopware AI Copilot. You can use the AI Copilot in various places in Shopware to use artificial intelligence. For example, create CVS exports according to your wishes, as you can see in this part of the import extra, uh, export module. Or generate texts in the shopping experiences if you are lacking creativity. Just click on AI Copilot at this point. But what's also possible, for example, have product ratings summarized or keywords and properties generated. The AI Copilot helps you in many ways to make your business more efficient. This makes e-commerce fun. In the future, there will always be new AI functions. So stay tuned and thank you for your time and loyalty.